Good day everybody, today we want to learn in Adobe Flash or Adobe Animate how to create this exercise in which we see motion path you know, also called guide and uh, some significant uh, difference between graphics um, yeah. symbol animation and movie clip animation. Let's just see the results first what we're going to create and then we'll start doing this from the scratch. Now the plane follows a path uh, an invisible path and then um, it's just being shown that it's flying in the sky and then the skydiver comes down and he's blinking his eyes okay so let's go ahead and start creating this from scratch so what I'm gonna do is I, I've got these symbols over here as eyes uh, I'm gonna just uh, undo what I've done here and I'll redo the, the stuff and just get rid of this okay so I've got initially the the way you may have seen this is um, this way. Um, there, there's only two layers, uh, plane, or maybe there was there wasn't even plane. There was only background, I believe. So we start from beginning, complete um, scratch. So we have we've got this in front of us. The background layer. There's only clouds. The one the green part you see at the back. The real background it's actually green stage color you can change it to any other color you like but well, i've just made we made this to green so that we can differentiate the clouds and it also looks uh, better so let's uh, put it back to what where it was and this is my gray my background layer i need to bring in plane over here but the plane needs to follow a special path so that it looks like it is flying in the Okay, so I'll just rename this layer to uh, motion path and this layer to plane. So the path layer should be on top of the plane, top of the plane, and uh, we'll we'll have this um, for only the path. The path will not be visible. So let's come on the pencil tool. And make sure you have clicked on the keyframe on the motion path and use the smooth don't use the straighten use the smooth option for the pencil tool and won't come for um, for some other tools but for the pencil tool it does come to make this line very smooth so let's create a smooth line here a little uh, curvy though so let's create some line with the curves and uh, and then we need to bring on the plane layer we need to drag and drop the plane movie clip so what is inside the movie clip anyway the plane is just a it's, just, it's a normal symbol there's no motion in this so we just bring uh, the plane drag and drop it you see this circle in the end it should attach the beginning of this line that's absolutely necessary okay and now the motion path right click and mark it as a guide the motion path should be above the plane and the plane can be just dragged a little forward and dropped it like this so I'm gonna just do it again then just drag it a little forward and drop it like this okay now make sure that in the first frame this circle attaches or snaps to the motion path by the end of this animation it should have uh, let's say we create some more keyframes in the first two layers right click at 60 insert keyframes because we want to move from here to here in the plane the background should have frames only because we're not changing the background anyway so in the end somewhere here we want the plane to go at the end of this so make sure the circle in between is snapping to the end of the line okay and you mark this layer only the plain layer as classic tween and you would see that it will now follow the path however in the end if this uh, circle is a little far away and by mistake you make it somewhere here then it will be not following the path so make sure the circle snaps to that line in the end okay and now you'll see that it is following the path so that's motion path the next thing you want to do is we want to bring in the skydiver okay so let's create a new uh, layer it should not be under motion path it should be a normal layer not under the motion path so let's bring in the skydiver and you can also have the skydiver follow 
this motion path if you want you can create like that also but we're not doing that now uh, skydiver should not come in the beginning immediately it should come somewhere over here I will, this is what we want to do somewhere over here the skydiver comes in and then he floats in the air and then comes down like this so let's create a keyframe here insert keyframe drag and drop our skydiver here make it a little smaller so you want to show that it is coming out of this plane and gradually it becomes bigger and bigger okay so now we'll right click on the image itself of the skydiver or you can click on the frames also and say motion twin it's one and the same thing make sure there should be nothing else in the layer on the twin so this is one uh, this is the first keyframe around 17 18 um, okay at 30 or 35 let's say I want to bring him somewhere here okay and I will go to uh, and also I'll increase its size a little bit so we show that he is coming closer to the earth and using this selection tool I will also modify this line so it appears that he is there is a curve here okay and then we move it a little more forward and then I'm gonna move it like this all right and I'll make it a little more bigger so that, so that we show that he's coming closer to the world and also again make this line a curve actually okay so it appears that he's coming down floating down and then obviously we need some more time so if you've got keyframe if you've got frame let's say this was frame okay so what we can do is just right click and create frame more frame so you have the same keyframe which is the background the cloud and you'll have some more time in the stage if you've got this the and you create create keyframe then this new keyframe will continue but to avoid that you can drag and drop this like this so the same initial keyframe will will continue okay so we got this coming up here and uh, so th this is basically we're doing to give some more time and you see when the plane starts the skydiver comes over here which is wrong so we'll adjust that in a minute because we have given some more time um, on the layer okay so comes in here so let's come at 75 and insert frame and this is the same motion twin continuing if as long as you keep on inserting frame the motion twin will continue if you want to break the motion twin you need to create insert blank keyframe and that will break the motion twin anyway so let's move forward and around 75 we will bring it somewhere here now and also again a little more curve like this and this guy should be more bigger okay so that he's very close to the world now and obviously we create some more frames on this layer but no animation so just insert frame okay so that we see the skydiver on the stage now let's modify this behavior. He's coming from here. We need to have him coming out of the uh, the plane. So let's move these frames, individual keyframes, a little bit forward. So we adjust our uh, timeline and staging. So at this point, he's coming here, right? So what we want to do, we want to just move this a little more forward and this guy here should be somewhere here okay somewhere here okay so he starts coming out of the plane now only now okay. is there a new keyframe here i created by mistake yeah okay let's move this forward like this okay so he comes out of the plane now and moves forward and then comes down easily let's export this and see how does it look okay the plane is moving and then the skydiver comes in okay he floats down 
close down. The next thing we want to do, we want to have his eyes blinking. That's not happening now. So let's look at the skydiver. He's got eyes. Yes, is this a movie clip of eyes? Yes, this is eyes movie clip. So let's modify eyes movie clip. Let's go to the eyes. How do we make it blink? So let's control plus plus to zoom in. Use this line, the line tool to create this. Okay, this is what we're going to create, but not yet. Let's uh, come to five, insert keyframe because one is open eye and up till five. I said insert keyframe. It's inserting apparently black keyframe. Maybe I inserted blank keyframe. Okay, insert keyframe, not blank keyframe. Here I want to modify his eyes so that I have a line here to show that he's blinking. He's halfway blinking his eyes. I'm gonna do that again here okay and I fill this using the paint bucket tool properties use this color or you can use the color from here also fill it with this so it will look like he's halfway blinking or oh, did I just uh, insert just a second maybe I missed something insert keyframe now it is important I make changes here, not, not before. If I make changes here, then they will be, you know, the initial one will be lost. So I click on here and now I start make changes. So I come here and you see the previous one is not affected. So this new keyframe, I'm making these changes and then I'm going to color it with the paint bucket tool and it look like he's halfway into blinking and I'll create one more keyframe at 10 and then I'll make my changes of deleting all the parts in between and filling them all with the skin color okay so I'll just pick up the skin color fill it everywhere else okay now it will look like he's blinking his eyes okay so let's uh, just as a little bit let's play our animation again okay the plane comes up the sky level falls in and he's blinking his eyes yes he is okay so that's what it is thank you very much for watching